Hey people, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a terrain mesh. Um, this one was requested by Mox. Um, I don't have him added as a friend on YouTube or I don't even know his YouTube name, but he requested it through Xfire. So yeah, I'm uh, going to make a terrain and I'm going to show you some stuff with the terrain that can help you yeah, in making maps. If you want to make a map uh, with uh, mountains uh, or yeah, like these, then I uh, will show you this. Oh, sorry, I had already opened uh, Radiant Cool. a little bit and go to textures common cog and use a cog again but you can also use for terrain you can use the terrain textures terrain normally and terrain 2 for terrain meshes I will use terrain 2 and I will make it three hundred forty eight by three hundred forty eight oops And don't drag it up or down. Just, just yeah, yeah, drag it down so it's below the zero. You got minus uh, forty six. You get uh, nay, you know you got minus sixty four and sixty four normally. Just place it under the zero, so it will be minus eight. Now we got our big brush of terrain only. I select it again I go to patch simple terrain mesh now you can you know you can choose the terrain density so you can choose the width and height I will take for this one let's see um, which like seven and the height also seven. Press OK. Now you see it has become very very flat, and it has six boxes here and six boxes here. Now you have to check the corners if it fits really good. Yep, no problem with that. Okay, now you got your terrain here. This is actually a terrain mesh. So to, I will show you another thing. If you select it and you go press S and you choose patch natural, then it will look very uh, good if you place texture on it. But if you drag a brush near it, like you want to make a street and a ground next to each other, then you drag the brush here you see it's it doesn't fit with each other so yeah it doesn't fit really well so you select the terrain and you press cap and when you see you see it fits very very good And that's the way how to um, fix some incorrupt textures, uh, placements. So just on every terrain, you just press cap. But if you have made a mountain that's like this one or this one, and you press cap, then the texture will be stretched out. So you can best use natural for high mountains and stuff like that. So, um,. Now you want to duplicate the patch, so you duplicate it and you place it right here. Now you want to connect these two with each other. Oh, how to do that? This is the line, end line, begin line, this one. 
you press C for the prestigious, and you drag, you hold the left mouse button and drag on the 2D 2D grid, drag you dragging with a blue blue uh, square around the prestigious on the line that that's the start of the duplicated patch and the end of the first patch you, you duplicated. So it will turn blue. So you have two vertices selected. Because as you see, these two. I can better show you like this. I have a space of 16 units between them. But I still want to connect them. How do you do that? You drag a square. And you see I've connected these two. And how to connect them with each other? You hold control and you press K and you see they will go to each other and you do that with every one on the line here control K control K control K and the last one control K and now you see that yeah it's still two parts but you have connected them with each other and yeah, that's a, a good thing because now you got two textures connected with each other. You can cap it again to make it look a little, little bit better. So you see, this is how we do it. How to connect. And now you can track them out of each other without seeing any difference. And you can put them back. And this is it. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching and uh, in the next tutorial how to make a terrain mouse I will show you how to make mountains like that. So, thanks for watching, check my channel, rate, comment and uh, subscribe if you want. Bye um, bye.